Yeah, hello. Uh, this video is aimed at focusing more clarity or providing more clarity to, di to differentiate between what is a uh, between a, a project phase, a project life cycle, and a project management uh, life cycle. See, as we can see here. Uh, we have the project management uh, life cycle and we, and we had initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and controlling and closing. So primarily we are talking about the management activities we perform to manage the project. First we initiate a project, then we get into planning, then we get into execution, and monitoring and controlling and closing. So there could be overlaps, but still uh, this is how it is. There are five process groups uh, and it is known as project management life cycle or the five process groups. Then based on the nature of the project, uh, if it is an IT project, let's say, it will have a requirements, uh, a re a requirements, a design, construction, testing and release. We call it as project life cycle. Project life cycle. Because these are these are the hardcore engineering activities we perform to build the product of the project. So we have requirements, design, construction, testing. So this is the project life cycle. And this can be further broken down into uh, phases. Like within requirements itself, we may have a requirements collection phase a requirements analysis phase, uh, a requirement sign-off phase. So uh, the project life cycle is supported by uh, the corresponding uh, phases. Similarly, we have we have the the project life cycle is design, and within that we have high level design and low level design as the phases. Construction within construction we have coding and unit testing as phases. Uh, and testing, we have test architecture and test strategy as, as phases. Uh, so this is the typical hierarchy. We have the project management life cycle. Primarily we are talking about the management activities we are performing. Uh, this may happen at the project level, this may happen at the phase level as well. Then we have the project life cycle. So from, based on the nature of the project or the domain of the project, these life cycles can change. Here it is an example of a, a IT project, a software development project where we have requirements collection phase, design, requirements design, construction, testing. So we call it as, you know, this is the life cycle, requirements, design, coding, testing, release kind of thing. If it is a construction project, it could be again requirements, uh, design, substructure, excavation, substructure, superstructure, it goes like that. So this is uh, from based on the nature and the domain of the project, this project life cycle will change. And project life cycle is supported by project phases. Within requirements, we have requirement phases of collection and analysis. In design, you have high level design and low level design. In construction life cycle, in the, uh, in the cycle of construction, we have coding and unit testing. And in testing, we may have phases like test architecture phase, test strategy phase, test case development phase, and testing phase. So I think this gives uh, you more clarity uh, into what is a project management life cycle and what is a project life cycle and what are the project phases. Thank you.